Hello there, how are you? I hope all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end. Welcome back on my channel. You're listening to Light Channelings once again and I'm back with a new reading for all of you. Before starting with your reading, allow me to express my gratitude for the beautiful, loving, positive energy you're sending towards me. May God bless you with abundance in all of its beautiful forms and without wasting any of our time. Let's begin with the reading. This reading is meant for those individuals who got uh, betrayed and cheated by their soul counterpart. You may have experienced infidelity coming from your soul counterpart or I'm also seeing that uh, for many of you, they betrayed you for someone else where they left you and got married to another person. Okay, so if that's your case, if this is what happened, then this reading is meant for you okay so currently what's going on is that the person your soul counterpart cheated you for and chose over you and they themselves your own soul counterpart are going through heavy karma at this point of time and uh, their connection their relationship ain't going anywhere their connection their relationship their marriage has no future it's coming to an end though i feel like they're trying very very hard to make it work they may have even tried to reconcile or sort their issues but it's not working and never ever will this connection is not going anywhere i see that there was a major conspiracy behind the ending of your relationship there was a conspiracy, there was whole another plan people created to bring an ending of your relationship or cause an ending in between you and your soul counterpart in the past, which I clearly see took place. But now the connection they created after betraying you or... Uh, the connection which got created out of manipulation, trickery, treachery or even sorcery is now showing its after effects because that connection was a karmic connection and it came into these people's lives to teach them a lesson or if that was not the case, it is teaching them all harsh lessons at this point of time. Okay? I see here that both of them are very, very sad and depressed. They are sorrowful about what happened. I'm seeing that someone either used black magic or there was heavy, heavy manipulation coming from someone. Could even be a family member of your soul counterpart who is to be blamed for everything that happened here. It could be a mother, a sister, an aunt even daughter-in-law okay for some of you i mean in some of your cases so at present i see that the person your soul counterpart chose over you committed themselves to is getting on their nerves there uh, is a lot of conflict deception negativity envy jealousy and a need to control each other they are fighting there is deception there is lying there is cheating there is confusion there are perplexities in between them i feel like your counterpart is trying very very hard to make it work or simply stand on their ground but it's not working it is not working and it never ever will for some reason i feel like this person they are dealing with is a snake and every time this person speaks, he or she simply spits venom with words, with statements or is so manipulative that your counterpart doesn't understand what to do next. They do not have any clue as to how to get out of the situation or find resolution or bring an end to any kind of conflict or uh, 
discord they are having with each other. They have no idea as to what to do. They have no idea as to how to fix all of these issues because everything is out of their control now. They've lost the control. They've lost the grip they had in this connection. At present, I don't see that uh, they are on good terms. At present, I see that they are not even paying much attention to each other. Instead, they are cursing each other, turning their back onto each other, not even talking. Some of them are not... I mean, if they are living together, they might have to speak, but they are not communicating. They are not on good terms. They keep on fighting, they keep on hurting each other. They keep on uh, deceiving each other or one person is deceiving the other person. Okay, that is what is going on in their connection or relationship. And this is karma. This is heavy karma for what they did. Both of them, not just the other person, even your soul counterpart. Because they left you for this person. They betrayed you for this person. And I feel like this person manipulated them into starting or creating a relationship or getting married with each other that could have happened but at present there is no happiness between them no joy no abundance and no future okay i feel like as i said already they may try to reconcile and sort their issues out but it's not going anywhere it'll again end up in disaster deception cheating lying manipulation and everything you can think of, of negative nature. That is what is going to happen. Okay? There is five of cups, justice, two of swords, four of cups, seven of wands, three of swords, magician, five of swords, ten of swords, seven of swords, overall energy, ten of pentacles, and, and then... Along with all of this, there is six of cups and two of cups. So to get into a little more detail, I'll say that in the midst of all of this, your counterpart is getting reminded of you. They're getting reminded of how they deceived you. They are getting reminded of how they broke your heart. And I feel like because of this incident, and this disastrous ending they are inviting and attracting in their life which they created themselves in their destiny is going to help them understand your worth and value and the worth and value of your soul connection as well at present i'm seeing the mess and how they are getting reminded of you when they're having to deal with it okay i'd like to suggest you to remain a little more careful with this person if they reach out or try to reconnect back with you okay because i see manipulation here this might not come from them but there are other manipulative people so you have to be very very careful there is ending taking place there is no future of their connection they won't be able to stick on or work on this connection of theirs this karmic connection of theirs it is coming to an end i mean a painful end an end which is going to leave them with nothing in their hands except sorrow and suffering but still i'd suggest you to remain patient and stay away from this person as much as you can before they heal from the situation or this traumatic event and free themselves from any kind of entanglements, contracts, attachment or connection they've got with this person they're having this ending with or other people who actually were the cause of the ending you experienced in your connection in the past. Okay, that's why I'm saying that. Because if in the midst of this chaotic situation they are in, they try to reconnect back with you, I feel like it's also going to affect you negatively and then again you might have to experience another painful separation or ending or something which might not work well for you 
in the long run so be very very careful if you know that they are dealing with someone who is troubling them if you know that there are people who are very manipulative very deceptive and are narcissists maintain boundaries and be very careful with your soul counterpart okay if you want to fight with people then that's up to you if you want to stay away from such situations or such people then i'd suggest be very very careful and stay away from drama and negativity as much as you can okay if that's not the case if this person isn't planning to reach out to you anytime soon then it's just that they might try to reconnect back with the person they are having an ending with but then again it will not work out for them there is no future of their connection so if you see this happening that they are trying to reconnect back reconcile reunite or make it work with the other person just know that it's temporary and it's not going anywhere okay it is not going anywhere it will again have a very painful dramatic ending and they might leave each other with grudges resentment a feeling of being deceived because there is someone who is going to deceive the other person in marriage or relationship even if they are committed there is someone who is going to do that because there is heavy manipulation going on at present whoever this person is this person just wants to win it could be the other person your counterpart is dealing with or someone else who is actually playing a very big role in serving justice here okay this this might happen where someone else who's hateful towards your counterpart as well as this other person may do or say something which is going to bring an ending in their situation or connection that is why i'm saying you have to be careful if your soul counterpart reaches out to you or tries to reconnect back with you even for receiving help be very very careful be very very careful and try not to get involved okay just make sure that you're not doing that as it might backfire so be careful again i'm repeating that it's for your own highest good your counterpart is not at all happy they are regretting their choices and decisions they've got no clue they are confused they are bewildered they are on defense they are trying to guard themselves but the heartbreak is real the deception is real this painful ending is real the manipulation that is coming from other people is real and uh, it's just something which is they created for themselves in order to learn their lessons it is all happening because of what they've done to you and the way they betrayed you left you out into the cold and did not pay attention to your soul connection that is why it is happening okay so overall i'm simply going to say that you need not worry about anything as there is nothing to worry about know that after finishing off with all of these situations and these entanglements you'll have your success in this connection that is what is being highlighted here because the 6 of cups and this 2 of cups also explain a new beginning in your soul connection as well i've told you that they may try to reconcile their issues but it's not going to work but at the same time this is also suggesting a chance a change a big change that may take place in your soul connection where you'll have an opportunity to reconcile but you have to be patient vigilant and careful again with those other people who are involved or might get involved so you've got to gather all facts and information before you jump on to anything okay that's all this was your reading i hope you enjoyed listening to me and this brought you the clarity you were seeking and were hoping to get if so do let me know how you felt in the comment section below feel free to hit the like button and follow through with the link given in the description box below if your heart says so Okay signing off for now taking leave will be back sooner than later till then take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye